we're all attracted by great visuals. And on YouTube, the thumbnail design is where you can get really creative with great visual content. But it's a little complicated because the thumbnails are so teeny tiny, and if you're viewing YouTube videos on a mobile device, they're even smaller. So how do you get a great design going for all sizes? In today's video, I'm going to show you seven steps to designing the perfect YouTube thumbnail, even if you're not a graphic designer, hey, I am not, and using free tools. So let's get started. Hey entrepreneurs, I'm Salma Jafri, your video content strategist, helping you grow your personal brand with video. I release videos every week, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've checked the bell notifications so that you are the first to be notified when I release a new video. According to YouTube, 90% of the best performing videos have custom thumbnails. Now, I don't know about you, but I definitely don't want to be in that 10% that doesn't, and I want to be in the 90% that has great custom thumbnails. So, before we get into the seven steps, I just quickly want to tell you the seven elements that make up a great thumbnail design. So, what are those seven elements? So the first element is bright colors. So YouTube has a white background and the only thing that's gonna make your video stand out is the visual graphic, which is your thumbnail. So if you use bright colors, that's going to be more attractive. The second element your thumbnail should have is ideally a face, especially if you are a personal brand and if you're an expert or you're an influencer and you are teaching something, put your face on your YouTube thumbnail because faces equal expressions and expressions are what connects, connect us and make us wanna watch a certain video. The third element you want is contrast. So make sure that you know your background text and your, your images and your text are not melding into each other, making it difficult to see what your thumbnail design is all about. So use contrasting colors in your thumbnail design. The fourth element you should have is big fonts. I recommend not going below 30 points in font size so that your fonts are big enough to actually make your text readable. The fifth element is a quirky text on your thumbnails. Now, since thumbnails don't have to be all SEO friendly and everything, you can actually put all the SEO stuff in your titles and put some funky, cute, interesting, quirky text on your thumbnail. So feel free to play around with the text on your thumbnails. The fifth element is a visual pop. Sometimes I like to use like an image or a graphical element or an illustration or a color that's just gonna make my thumbnail look vastly different from everybody else's. And I'm gonna show you in the seven steps what that visual pop might look like. And finally, the seventh element is a consistent design. And we're gonna talk a lot more about this and why that matters, but essentially, you are branding your channel with your thumbnails and consistency plays a huge role in visual branding. All right, so now that you know the seven elements that go into creating a great thumbnail design, let's go over to the computer and go see our tutorial on my seven steps to create the perfect YouTube thumbnail and stay tuned for the tools because they are absolutely free and easy to use. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is take a screenshot of our YouTube video. So I use an app called Skitch, which is part of the Evernote family of apps. And as you can see here, it's a quick, free, easy download for Mac. If you're not on a Mac, I would recommend using an app called Jing which is made by the same people that made Camtasia. So you can download Jing and use that or use Sketch. So let me close that out, back to Sketch. All right, so here is my video and uh, it's playing in QuickTime right now. So what I would do is I would choose a frame that I want the video uh, thumbnail to be. So let's say, for example, this. Not the best one, but you can choose different uh, you know, frames for what you want to portray in your thumbnail. Then I have the Sketch app downloaded here. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna say, I wanna take a screen snap of my video. And I'm gonna select the entire area of my video here like this. 
and click Capture. And so this is going to form the basis of my raw thumbnail file. All right, so now we're going to go to our second tool, which is called Canva. And here we're going to upload the raw design that we just took. Um, but we're going to click over here on the plus button first to get started. Okay, Canva is absolutely free to use. And you can create all sorts of designs here. So if you just scroll down to where it says social media and email headers, and you see over here, it's got a handy little graphic for YouTube thumbnail design. And the dimensions are already pre-built. So that's 1280 pixels by 720 pixels, which is the recommended size to upload as a YouTube thumbnail. So you go ahead and click on this. Okay, so step three is to choose a layout. So you can see all of these different layouts here. The ones with the dollar sign are the paid ones and the ones that say free are the free ones. But for our purposes, it doesn't really matter which one you choose because we are gonna be replacing the branded photograph in this anyways. So we could uh, choose something that has a nice high contrast. Let's go with this one. So if we just click on this, it will load up. And you can see that the X bars over here, you can see that this is an image that you have to pay for. But we're not gonna be paying for this image because we're not gonna use this image. Instead, what we're gonna do is go to Uploads and upload your own image. So I have uploaded all of these images that I have made in Sketch. So this one, for example, is for this video. So all you need to do is take this video, take this image file and replace it like so. And then all I need to do is just take the text and transfer it to the right like so. And then you can change the text. How to make promo videos, let's say. And you just wanna play around until it fits in a way that is easy to read. Maybe we can make this center aligned. There, that looks better. And just wanna lift it up here a bit. And there. So you want the text to be nice and big because when it goes into your thumbnail format on YouTube, it's actually gonna be quite a small thumbnail. And so what I like to do is over here on the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner, this is at 64% of the image right now. So you wanna come down to about 25% to see how it's actually gonna look on a thumbnail on YouTube. And as long as you can read the text easily, that is your, uh, you know, point of discernment that you wanna see that if you can read the text easily, then that means that you are good to go. All right, so the next thing that you can do is add any other visual elements, you know, for interest. So for example, you can go here into elements and you can choose anything that might add. So maybe I wanna add like, let's say a video icon. So I just search in Canva and let's say I wanna put this icon in just to give a little bit, maybe we'll go with something else. How about this one? Yeah. That looks better. And so just a little bit of a visual element that you can include. You can choose from any of these or you can choose from the paid icons or you can even upload your own icons or illustrations that you wanna add. So that is your thumbnail design done and you essentially just download it as either a PNG or a JPEG file. And then you go back into your YouTube. You can go into your video manager where it's gonna ask you, I just wanna show you how to upload your custom thumbnail. 
So when you are uploading a new video, essentially this is where your default thumbnails are gonna show, which are basically YouTube screen captures of within your video. And then the fourth option is your own thumbnail. So this is where you go. And if this is not showing, uh, I mean, right now it's showing because I've already uploaded it, but there should be a little option over here, custom thumbnail, and that's what you click to upload. And you can change this as well. So if you want, you can just change this image and uh, choose whatever other thumbnail designs. And you can see all of my thumbnail designs here, which are similar and consistent. And so that's how you create a custom YouTube thumbnail. You know, the best part about designing a custom thumbnail, a nice, big, juicy custom thumbnail, is that you can use it anywhere on social media and not just on YouTube. So I use all my custom thumbnails on my Facebook page, in my group, on Instagram, on Twitter, everywhere where I need to promote the YouTube video. And it works great because it's a well-designed graphic. Was this tutorial useful for you? Hmm, I don't know, but if yes, then give me a big thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what you enjoyed particularly about it. I want you to join my Facebook group where we discuss more video marketing tips. So if you wanna grow your personal brand with video, come and join us in the group. The link is here and down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. All right, okay, let's start for real this time. And there's like this this little hair that's bothering me here. <laughs> on my arms. How many problems do you have? I got 99 problems and you are not one of them. Okay. All right. Okay. What was my first sentence? <laughs>